And we're moving on now to Super Bowl Sunday. It's finally here, Super Bowl Sunday, the day many Americans and fans worldwide spend months counting down to. And it's looking to be an intense game. Danny, you're obviously already ready to take the field, but all we've been hearing about the past two weeks is best offense versus best defense. But we're forgetting the Broncos have a great defense and the Seahawks have a great young quarterback. Absolutely. do. First of all, Super Bowl 48 is here. I am very excited, but I am definitely tired of talking about the Denver offense, the Seattle defense, Peyton Manning, Richard Sherman. We got to flip the script a little bit, Marav. We have to talk about Seattle's offense versus Denver's defense, because this is going to be the other half of the game after all. First of all, Marshawn Lynch. This is the guy that will win it or lose it for this team. If he carries this team on his back the way he has done all season, that's why they call him beast mode, because he is a beast and he cannot be stopped. He cannot be tackled. Denver's defense, though, they have one of the best run defense in the playoffs right now. So if anybody's going to do it, it could be them this week. So we'll see what happens there. Percy Harvin, the receiver that's been gone all season, he's finally back. He could be the X Art, their game changer. Who knows? The way he lines up, he creates a lot of mismatches, so people don't know how to cover him. That could be one big play that makes a difference in the game. And obviously, we've been talking about Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning, but we're forgetting about quarterback for the Seahawks who is in his second year but he's having a great year. Russell Wilson is an amazing kid. You know he's 12 years younger than Peyton Manning. It's insane. He's the younger class and Manning is the older class and this guy has also carried the team on his shoulders with his legs. He's able to escape out of the pocket and create something out of nothing time and time again. And so the thing is if he really doesn't make any mistakes, you know those typical rookie mistakes that happen sometimes in these big games, he could propel this team ahead. And he's already impressed a lot of people who have been in the league for years. And Michal, he has actually come to Twitter and uh, talked about Peyton Manning. That's right. You're talking about two exceptional players. And guess what? These quarterbacks are showing sportsmanship. So let's take a look at our first. Russell Wilson is saying, congratulations to Peyton Manning on winning your fifth MVP. I'm honored to be taking the field across from you tomorrow. This is incredible, and for those of, of, of you who don't know, or of course you do, uh, he was actually um, taking lessons or uh, participating in his training program. So he's looked up for him from about the 10th grade. So really, this is an amazing kind of closure for him to be playing against the person he looks up to. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Well, of course, the weather. Every time there's a big game, you talk about the weather. And the, the same weather here. was supposed to be a big factor. So it was one. supposed to be a big factor, but. Guess what? It is not. And we have a tweet about this as well. ESPN's Dana O'Neill. After all the weather woes, it's sunny and 51 degrees right now. Even Mother Nature's knows not to mess with the NFL. So and really, everyone was worried. And guess what? Nothing to worry about. It's nice. It's sunny. NFL, everyone stands aside. And we have the Simpsons, which predicted the Super Bowl already eight years ago. Let's take a look at them. At, for those of you who can't see on the screen, put your glasses on. Guess what? It shows today's game. They predicted this. This is incredible. I don't know. Did you guys get to see this episode? <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> this and then, of course, the Simpsons have the Broncos winning. And now, Danny, in order for the Simpsons to come true years after, what do these teams have to do? What do the Broncos have to do to win this? Okay, so we know Peyton Manning is going to have a Peyton Manning-like game, even if the Seattle defense does hold him at times, which they will. He's going to get a couple touchdowns. The thing is, he's not going to be thrown on the outside because he knows that, that man Richard Sherman is going to be ball hawking. He's going to be trying to steal it from him. So the thing is, Wes Welker, the Denver receiver, will be cutting across the middle. So Peyton Manning's definitely going to be trying to find him in the middle. But the thing is, Seattle has a lot of big people in the middle too, and they hit hard. This actually happened a lot in the season where guys were right about to catch the ball, and they felt the linebackers coming and the cornerbacks coming, and they got scared and they dropped it. So the thing is, those linebackers in the middle will be a factor. Another factor is both D-lines, if they put pressure on the quarterback, it's going to change both of their games. Now, the Denver defense, the Denver line, wants to keep Russell Wilson inside so he doesn't run and escape from them. And they want to make sure the Seattle defense forces Manning out. That's out of his comfort zone. And obviously, the Super Bowl isn't only about the game. We've seen, and it's grown more and more in recent years, Jonathan, people are starting to watch more for the commercials, for the halftime show. What should we expect from this year? First of all, I want to say I envy Danny's Bible. He's, <laughs> he's so much into it. That's what the Super Bowl is all about. It's all the excitement. It's all the fun. Now, let, let, let's, let's face it. It's not that the whole American nation watches football every Sunday and every Monday night, but everybody watches the Super Bowl. Look how much, look how interesting it is. I mean, the game's four hours away. Danny's already, he's ready to take the, the, the field right now. You know, of course, 
everybody everyone is going to watch the super bowl everyone everybody's going to watch the commercials everybody's going to talk about them tomorrow everybody's going to talk about what the peppers do in the halftime show that's what the super bowl is all about it brings the entire nation together yes there's a game true and, and danny knows much more than, than than much more about the game than me but but it's 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 a whole show it's much more than just football it's 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 americanism that's what it's all about and i'm pretty sure danny knows so much about football he's already studied the playbooks and he's ready to take the field right <laughs> And very quickly, who's taking this game? Okay, I didn't want to say, I didn't want to upset anybody. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very close game down to the wire. And in the end, I think that Denver could pull it out 27-24. So there we've got it. It's Danny Swybell's prediction for tonight. <laughs> this Denver is going to take it. And our future Hall of Fame quarterback, I can't go without mentioning, Peyton Manning. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. And that's all for us today. For the latest sports news, you can find us online at i24news.tv, Facebook, or Twitter. And you can tweet at us at i24newssports. We'd love to hear from you. From all of us here on Sports Weekend, I'm Elav Savio. Thank you for watching. We'll see you right back here next Sunday. And don't forget to watch the Super Bowl tonight. And let us know what you think about it.